Good morning YouTube, what's going on? This is the Lemons End and today there's going to be another Dwarven tutorial and not as promised about the house over here because it's too difficult and I have to take another look at it first but about um, a Dwarven styled bridge and I know that might not sound too interesting but um, you know those moments in life when you feel like there's a gap in your heart and you just feel empty on the inside then that might just be because you don't know how to build a bridge so let's see if I can do this in under five minutes because it's actually quite simple now, you might remember this tower from the last episode, and we are going to connect it with um, the other one over here. And there's actually already um, um, uh, a gate to walk through. So let's start off with the walkway. We will just take um, a full block and bring it all the way to the other side. And um, before I forget to say that, um, it's important that you have a lot of space which I don't have at the moment here because it's just um, a test area but um, yeah this is a bridge for huge gaps so because now when we are doing the pillars which is the next step you um, should try to get gaps of five blocks which is quite difficult if you just have a small bridge so I had to um, move this tower to the right a few by a few blocks because otherwise it would have been too close um, but as you can see now it's kind of working so there's a five block gap here five block gap here and um, yeah well this side is I don't care so um, yeah so this should be one two three four five blocks and you're going to extend it by one full block and the rest is going to be filled up with upside down stairs so this is all the walkway and the uh, the thing that stops you from falling down uh, whatever it is called so we will extend this by one block and then we will grab the cobblestone wall and we could also take the fence but um, since this is the dwarven styled building thing, um, I try to keep everything um, made out of stone and everything heavy and so on. So that's why I'm using cobblestone. You could also use the fence if you don't want it to be too heavy. So yeah, just use the fence or the wall to connect the blocks and then place another one on top. And of course you do this on both sides. And after you've done that, you are pretty much done. You just need to make the bottom part, which is actually um, more work than the upside, but <laughs> not the upside, the the upper side of the bridge, hmm, whatever. So um, yeah, we start with the pillars. Um, so you take the block in the middle and you bring it all the way down t until it reaches the floor, which is not really um, good here at my um, place so you really might want to find a better region than I did because now I am hitting the walkway and I will destroy it because this this bridge needs a lot of a lot of space um, but yeah so there are the pillars and because they are looking a bit thin we will make them uh, bigger so on each side of the pillar we will place um, blocks and we will bring them up not until half of the pillar but maybe until this height 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 I always don't know how to pr pronounce the word right maybe I should go to Google Translate and listen to what they say height um, maybe this is even one block too high because on top of that we are going to place um, stairs to finish it off so let's take another look at it. Yeah, I think this is looking okay. So we do get um, a little problem on this side because um, the pillar is touching the hill. But I will just make the um, this fortified thing on just those two sides here. Um, and when I am done with this side, we just need to make the bottom of the bridge and we are already done so 
Um, yeah, as I said, the bottom part needs some work. So we take the full block and place one on each side of each pillar. And then we can use the stone brick stairs and place them um, only beneath the full blocks. Not between here, because between those full blocks we are going to place another full block and another full block and a half slab so that you get this kind of shape. So a full block, a full block and a half slab and on well on this side you just place a full block and a half slab as well as on this side. And now you need to um, bring these pillars down by a few blocks until they uh, meet up with these blocks so that the upside down stairs here are on the same level. Oops. And when you have that you are basically done and when I am done I will show you the original Dwarven bridge which is at the Dwarven village a uh, Dwarven village and just to give you an impression of what this bridge was supposed to look like and um, so as you can see there is not a really big gap so i got a problem here because i those two pillars are too close together um but there is this one mountain side and this other mountain side and i connected it with this bridge yeah well i, I guess you can see what i did so um yeah that is what you could use the dwarven bridge for um, anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.